prepared to be bedazzled because today another nephew be epic god is slated to commence in the colonial super brawl 2. Without further ado, without further delay, without further procrastination, let's allow the faulties, antics, and trivialities to ensue. Here we go. Today, illustrious, iconic, notorious, revered, renowned, legendary, Chum Chum is pitted up against Kitty Caswell. Who will prevail, who will falter, who will emerge triumphant? Let's find out. Stay tuned because I'll keep you abreast of the play by play. Is Kitty Caswell going to martyr me, mangle me, maim me, mutilate me, brutalize me, ravage me, subdue me, decimate me, and incapacitate me? We will find out soon. Stay tuned. She possesses finesse, adroitness, adeptness, dexterity, and an extensive repertoire. Her incursions are devastating, calamitous, potent, deleterious, inimical, and lethal. Can I survive the brunt of her attacks? Can I survive her onslaught? I miraculously managed to prevail by the skin of my teeth, which, is, which was indeed unequivocally unexpected. I hope that you are enthralled, bedazzled, regaled, mesmerized, amused, fascinated, floored, entertained, and of course, entrenched in the underlying epicness. I did not expect Chum Chum to best Kitty Caswell in a tussle. However, in the scuffle, Chum Chum managed to miraculously reign supreme. He clenched victory from the jaws of defeat, even though she was keen on prevailing. With Chum Chum, a stoic, valiant, noble, commendable, gallant, heroic, warrior, I'm uncertain. I do not know anything about this character's lore. I'm presuming that he is, however, a vigilante. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.